Hey guys, so in this video, we are going to be going over the global properties part. So for lesson four of Abi Pruder High School, this is kind of like a new addition to the game. Basically what the global properties part is, is that it, it's like a part that you can adjust the global properties of your Abi. Okay, so first I am going to open up edit mode and add in the part. This is not going to have anything to do with buttons, but buttons can like... You can you could use like a button mechanic to activate this, but it's, there's not there's not really like any big connection. So I'll have this part here, and if you go into behaviors, uh, you can see that there are many different uh, properties that you can adjust. First is healing. Basically, you can like adjust if your obby has healing. True. I would say just skip that. Next is avatar jump. This adjusts your jump power to like, I don't know, from 0 to 200. And it's basically just a on, on like a global scale. Next, we have walk. You can only change this to like, I think it goes down to only Eight, and you can't make it go down even more because then you, that could make like a trap for people who are playing it even though they can just adjust it with the speed part so for walk you can't you, you don't really have to bother with that it's not really something to really worry about and then we have the actual like interesting ones lighting basically you can change the outdoor color or like light lighting of like everything so if i uh, change the ambient which is currently like like this gray color to something like purple uh my surroundings would seem purple you know so i'll give you guys an example so if i make it like red and i step on it don't worry about my avatar because like Roblox is a uh, buggy and you know and you know there's like also not that many people in class but basically I step on it and look everything just looks a bit more bright and red if I tone it like down a little it should look normal but if I tone it up there's gonna be like a, a red shade you know you could also make it a uh, cyan and then things will look like more cool it basically just changes the atmosphere you're in so like it if you want like a really good cinematic shot you can like change the ambience and then make it like uh like something like summer colors so like orange and it should work and it looks pretty warm that's basically it for the ambience. Like there are different ones, but they're basically they basically do the same thing. Next, we have uh, fly and sync. Sync does something which is like I don't know. It kind of makes it so that uh, if somebody has a moving part that is like moving one second before your moving part your moving part will sync to that moving part so an example would be there's two players player one goes in the obby first and activates something then if player two enters the obby uh the activated moving part would be in like kind of so, sort of like the the same position and it's really hard to explain but basically it changes all of the client-sided objects, like moving parts, push blocks, to like the first person entering the obby. And then lastly is like fly, you know what it does, it gives you a fly tool. And yeah, that's basically it for this video. I know it's like kind of short, but it, it can't really do much for like uh, a rushed video like this since last video I recorded it yesterday because of a, like, a, a, like a corrupted recording file. So yeah, that's basically it for this class. If you liked it, leave a like in the video or like just leave a comment. 
that's all for me. Goodbye and stay safe, and bye!